back to Toy Transformations. Let's start with the first transformation from today's video. We're going to turn this all out surprise doll into the amazing Michael Jackson. We want to recreate a look from the Smooth Criminal video. We love that song! For this look, we picked these elevator accessories for our doll. These red short overalls are going to work as base so we can model the white suit of Michael. We need to add length to the pants and to the sleeves and we'll use these elevator shoes for him. Let's get started! For the first step, we're going to cut the two hairbands of our doll's head and we'll cover the holes with tape. The Smooth Criminal song is from his album Bad. And this one is one of our favorite albums from Michael Jackson. It has so many great songs. Let's move on to work on his clothes. We're going to begin by modeling Michael's pants. We're covering completely the legs of our elbow doll with clay, making sure to cover the front and back of the legs. And then with the help of a stick, we're going to perfect the shape of the pants and we'll remove clay excess when we need it. We're using a bit more of clay to cover the little arms of our LL doll. And then, again using a modeling stick, we're going to remove clay excess and we'll work on the details. We'll continue by erasing from the doll's face all these little details that make our doll look like a girl. We're using a cotton swab and nail polish remover to erase the lipstick, the blush, and also the eyelashes. We're using air dry clay one more time. We're covering the original hair of our LL doll with a chunk of clay. We're extending the clay to cover it completely and to form the shape of Michael's hair. We picked this LOL hat to use as base to model the hat that Michael wears in the Smooth Criminal video. We're going to remove the decoration from the front of the hat and we're cutting the feather and then we're going to remove the black heart. Michael wears a white fedora hat in the video, so we'll cover all the hat with clay first to start forming the shape of the hat. Now we need to form the brim of the hat. To do that we're using foam. We're placing a roll of foam all around the bottom of the hat and we're squeezing the roll to make it flat and create the shape of the brim. This is how the fedora hat turned out. In this video, Michael has curly long hair tied in a low ponytail, so we'll add foam on the back of the head. We're cutting foam excess with scissors and we'll model the curls. We decided not to put his hair in a ponytail and we'll let his hair loose instead. It's time to paint! We're using black to paint the curly hair of our little Michael Jackson. Now we're going to paint all the clothes of our LL doll with white paint. We're using the white to even out all the colors and to use also as base color. We also need to paint completely white the hat of our LL doll. Michael wears a blue shirt in the video, so now we're using this beautiful blue color to paint the shirt of our LL doll. To paint the shirt, we're using as guide the suspenders of the overalls. We're only painting in the middle, right between the suspenders the white part is going to be the jacket of his suit. We're also going to paint a very thin line right at the end of the sleeves of the white jacket to simulate the cuffs of the shirt. Next, to transform the white hat into a fedora, we're just going to paint a black stripe all around the bottom part of the hat. With a thin brush and white paint, we're going to draw a tie right in the middle of his blue shirt. We also need to add extra details with blue paint to his jacket, like a banner on his right arm and a little pocket handkerchief on his left side. With a super thin brush, we're going to change the eye color of our LL ball from blue to brown, because Michael has brown eyes. Once the brown paint on the eyes is dry, to make Michael's eyes look super shiny, we're going to apply a coat of clear polish. And here he is! Our LL doll looks super cute as a little Michael Jackson with the look of the smooth criminal video. Did you know that in this video it was the first time that Michael did one of his most famous dance moves, the anti-gravity lean? It's such a cool dance move! We picked this LL doll for our second transformation. We're going to turn her into Michael Jackson too, and he's going to be wearing the super iconic look he used for his Billie Jean performances. To recreate this incredible look for our doll, we're going to use this LOL hat that we will modify later. And we also found this cool glitter jacket that we use for him. We just need to model his pants and to finish with his outfit we'll use these LOL shoes. 
Let's get started. We'll start by cutting the hair of our eldest doll and then we will put tape over the holes. Now we will work on the pants. We're going to use air dry clay to wrap the little legs of our doll and then we will use a modeling stick to mark a line in the middle to start forming the shape of the pants. We will also remove clay excess with the help of the stick and then we will work on the details. With a cotton swab and all polish remover we're going to erase from the face all the little details that make our doll look like a girl. We'll erase the lipstick, the blush and the eyelashes. We're going to keep using clay, but now it will be to model Michael's hair. We're extending clay all over the original hair of a doll to cover it, and then we will model it to form his curly hairstyle. Now to start modeling Michael's hat, first we need to remove the decorations of this L.A. hat. We're going to cut the white feather first. Also with the scissors, we will remove this piece and then we're going to put a chunk of clay on the top part and we're going to extend it to cover the hat completely. Once we cover the hat with clay, we're going to model the brim. We form a roll with foam and we're putting it around the bottom part of the hat. We're pressing it with our fingers to make the edge flat and form the shape of the brim. We put the hat on top of Michael's head while the clay is still a little fresh. This way we can paint the hat to the hair. Now to create his characteristic curly hairstyle, we're going to use foam. We're putting a chunk of foam on the back of our doll's head. We're going to cut foam axes with scissors and we will extend the foam to the side so then we can model his curls. Once it's all dry we can start painting. We're using black to paint Michael's curly hair. We'll keep using black color to paint his little pants and we will let the black paint to dry before we can continue with the next step. Next, we will use black color again to paint this LOL accessory. We're painting only the pink glitter jacket. Now we're using white to paint in the middle area to simulate his shirt. It's time to paint his hat. We're using this gorgeous royal blue color to paint all the hats. to paint the right hand of our elbow doll with this silver color to simulate the sparky glove that Michael Jackson used to wear. We will use white paint again. We're going to draw a line around the bottom part of the pants and the top part of the shoes to simulate the white socks. We'll let the socks dry and now we're painting the little shoes with black. This elbow doll also has light blue eyes, so now with a super fine brush we're going to apply brown paint over the blue of the eye. It's time for my favorite step adding all the glitter. We're using a brush to apply silver glitter all over the black jacket. The final step will be applying a coat of clear polish on the eyes of our elbow doll to make the look shinier. Michael Jackson was the one who made popular the moonwalk dance move when he started doing it during his live performances of Billie Jean. Ta-da! This Billie Jean version of the incredible Michael Jackson looks amazing, guys. Don't you think? He started wearing this look since his iconic performance of Billie Jean in the 25th anniversary of Motown. For the third information, we're going to turn our LL doll into Michael Jackson one last time. It's going to be the version of the Thriller's music video. We picked these clothes from our LL accessories for our doll. They're going to work as base to model the red suit that Michael wears in this video. We will have to cut the skirt because we will only use the top part of the dress for the suit. And for his pants, we will have to model them like we did for the first two transformations. Let's begin with this final transformation by working on his hair. For the first step, we're going to cut the ponytail of our doll's head and we'll cover the hole in the head with blue tape. Now we're going to continue by applying a big chunk of clay on top of the head of our elder doll. We're going to cover all the original hair and then, using a modeling stick, we're going to perfect the shape of the hair, trying to create a smooth surface. While the clay is still fresh, we're going to use this modeling tool to create the curls on Michael's hair. Now, while the clay is drying, we're going to use a cotton swab and nail polish remover to erase from our doll's face all the little things that make our doll look like a girl. We're erasing the lipstick, the blush, the eyelashes, and even the little whiskers. Let's work on his clothes. We're going to do the exact same thing we did with the other two transformations. We're going to wrap the little legs with clay and then we're going to use a modeling stick to work on the details. For the top 
part of the outfit, first we're going to add clay and we'll start molding it with our fingertips. For the top part of his suit, we're also going to use the top part of the dress. To use it, we just need to cut the skirt of the dress. And this is how it looks after we put on the top part that we cut from the dress. To create the roll of sleeves of Michael's suit, we form a little roll of clay and we're going to put it around the arm. Then with a stick, we're going to work on the details and we will do the same thing on the other arm. Time to paint! The clay on the hair is dry, so we're going to paint all his curly hair completely black. Next, we're going to paint all the suit with this super bright red color and we will let it try to paint more details later. Now, with black paint and using a thin brush, we're going to draw a line on the edge of the color of the jacket and then we will also paint a black line around his waist. To simulate his socks, we're going to use white paint and a thin brush to draw a line around the top part of the elbow and shoes to make them look longer. This was a very characteristic thing about the 80s fashion. Now for the last step, we're going to use black color to paint the shoes of our little Michael Jackson. We're being very careful to not to paint the white socks. And he's ready! This is how Ellen doll looks after we costume her into Michael Jackson with the look of the thriller music video. This outfit is one of the most characteristic looks of Michael and the video is super super cool! Ready guys, this is the final look of the three transformations from today's video that was inspired by the amazing Michael Jackson, the king of pop. We made three different versions of Michael that are some of his most iconic looks. First, we have on the right Michael Jackson with the Billie Jean look. I'm a big fan of his jacket and the cool glove also. Then in the middle, he's wearing the red suit from the Thriller music video. That is one of the most popular music videos in history. And finally, on the left, I will do this costume as Michael from the Smooth Criminal music video with this super cool white suit. We love how the three of them turn out. They look incredible. Remember to give us a like if you like this video and tell us in the comments below which one was your favorite transformation. Don't forget to ring the bell to activate the notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos and subscribe to our channel Toy Transformations if you haven't done it yet. See you in the next video guys, thanks for watching, bye!